is expecting. I know what you're thinking. Ew, Mpreg fetish manga. My eye! But when I first looked at this, I thought, uh, well, ew, Mpreg fetish manga. But then I thought maybe it's meant to be some kind of feminist commentary. Some of you might be surprised to know that before the internet spread the dregs of society into your feed, male pregnancy was actually used as a joke, not a fetish. People used to think reversing gender roles was hilarious rather than sexy. Why are you wearing a skirt? I did it so we could win money for bikes. Oh, thank goodness. <gasps> and would sometimes be utilized to talk about how women have it so hard and men just don't understand. So I decided to expect the best from this manga going in, and assumed it was some kind of feminist comedy. And for the most part, that's what I got. Minus the comedy. This story takes place in an alternative Japan where men have all of the sudden gained the ability to get pregnant. This was originally published in Kodansha's Be Love magazine and only got up to eight chapters before being cut short, then collected into one volume and unfortunately released in English here in the States. It doesn't look like it did very well, but somehow it managed to acquire two spin-off mangas? And even a live-action drama? How? Who would want- oh. It was done by Netflix. Okay, that makes sense. So, our story starts off with this guy who has drunk one-night stands without a condom on a regular basis. Oh, what a scuzzbag. I don't like this guy. But one day, he takes a pregnancy test and it turns out positive. For the record, if a man tests positive for a pregnancy in the real world, it means he has cancer. Congratulations, it's a tumor. So now we get into explaining how this is possible. Oddly enough, men still have male genitals in this universe, so they can't actually give birth to the baby and need to have a C-section. Furthermore, he's getting pregnant from a woman, not another man. So, what? Is his baby batter going up into himself rather than into her? Or do women have baby batter too now? Are they just, like, shooting their baby batter at each other when they finish? Some things in life you don't want to know the answers to. So now this guy doesn't know who the mother is and has to decide whether or not he wants an abortion obviously very on-the-nose commentary for how men have reckless sex without considering the woman they get pregnant. And it's meant to be some kind of ironic punishment for him. Throughout the rest of the manga, we meet other people who have gotten pregnant, and it kind of follows that same formula of being pregnant is hard and men should feel bad. The main character meets this woman on the train who got pregnant with a guy who already has a girlfriend. And she wanted him to break up with his girlfriend and to be with her, hoping the baby would convince him to do so. But alas, he wants her to get an abortion instead. Well, if only he had gotten pregnant instead of me. Aw, you poor little homewrecker. Like seriously, how am I supposed to pretend that the guy is the only villain in this scenario when she knows he's taken and is trying to steal him away from some other girl by getting herself pregnant? They're both villains. You deserve unhappiness just as much as he does. And in the end, she decides to have the baby anyway and that she don't need no man. So I guess it's supposed to be empowering or something? My baby has nothing to do with you. What, what do you mean? Of course it does. That's his baby too. It's both your baby. It has to do with both of you. One of the stories follows a high school boy who had sex with his girlfriend and got pregnant because he didn't even consider pregnancy was a possibility. Like, what do you even think sex is? His parents made him get an abortion, and he's humbled by the experience in the end. Uh, for some weird reason, it ends with him excited to get pregnant again in the future when it's the right time? Is, this is supposed to be wholesome. I, I know, I know, I, I get what they're going for, but it's kinda creepy for this boy child 
to want to get pregnant again after experiencing an abortion. That's just kind of an odd conclusion, you know? I was expecting it to be more so about, like, trauma, but, uh, whatever. Then there's this married couple, and when the mother was pregnant, the guy was super unsympathetic and made her do all the cooking and cleaning and shopping. Oh, this guy is a douchebag. Oh, but now the guy's pregnant. Oh, and he gets to experience how hard it is being pregnant. That, that'll teach him. Whatever happens in normal romance, you know, like stuff like the way long back. Definitely go check out that series on BurningStarComics.net if you haven't already. Issue 3 just released this month and issue 4 is on its way. This comic oozes 90s nostalgia in the art department as well as the atmosphere and writing. Remember the 90s when we didn't have to deal with this weird mpreg manga? But seriously, go on BurningStarComics.net. It's where I'm publishing my own comics as well as a few others that I believe are worthy of your time. Unlike this. I can't really decide if this manga is supposed to be some kind of revenge fantasy against men or if it's trying to promote the idea of some dystopian true equality between the genders. It's not exactly fetishy, it's just absolute cringe and, and weirdness. How? How could you post this? I thought you were based. It turns out that you... that you were cringe. But getting back to our main character, yeah, you probably forgot, but this manga technically has a main character. He's kind of like in the background of all these side stories. He decided to have the baby and start a movement for other men who get pregnant. He's doing this by, um, having a male pregnancy-themed cafe. What the fuck? Okay, N you know what? Never mind. Maybe this is fetishy. <laughs> Seriously, how does this solve anything? What if Japan, I know that you're crazy about themed cafes. Uh, I, I like themed cafes, but th why? Why do you think themed cafes will solve political issues here? But wait, there's more. There is a, an actual story about a politician who gets pregnant. Oh no. How will he win the election now? Oh, of course. Just support more male pregnancy. Y yes, utilize your male pregnancy to promote more men getting pregnant. Uh, also promote same-sex couples and married people keeping their separate surnames. Why? Why would you want to? Ugh, what whatever. Wait, you want to increase Immigration, too? Is that what that means? Jeez, this doesn't even have anything to do with the fantasy movement of the, the male pregnancy. This is just the writer projecting at this point. We've gone way off the fucking rails. And you know, I don't even think this succeeds in being good feminist propaganda. You essentially created a world in which women are unspecial, unneeded, and can be completely replaced by men. Funny enough, there are actual misogynist groups out there who feel as though all women should be massacred and replaced with sex robots for means of reproducing. And this manga is actually not too far off from that. And despite this manga not doing very well numbers-wise, obviously someone out there wanted to invest in pushing this story for some other ulterior motive. And dare I say it, Angel Sanctuary might have been convoluted pro-incest trash, but at least I could read that without cringing the entirety of it. Thank God this is only eight chapters, and no, I am not going to be looking into the spin-off manga. I'd rather be fished hooked to a truck and dragged across a three-mile pavement. If you find yourself reading this manga unironically, please put the book down and seek help. You are not alone. There are people out there you can talk to, and there are things you can do to get your life together. I promise. But that's all I have for you today, folks. Like the video, comment below, and subscribe if my suffering has caused you great joy. Bye! Program restart.